So late last night, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse's second trailer decided to drop. Am I a little bitter? Absolutely. But we are going to take a moment to break down this trailer, everything that stood out to us, all the, the nitty gritty, beautiful moments, and and really just, I don't know, I, there's so much that happened in this trailer, I really just want to share it with you guys. So obviously, off the jump, you see Miles is struggling to balance between, you know, being Spider-Man and obviously keeping up with his responsibilities at home. And you can obviously see it here, you know, but he, his mom obviously doesn't know that he is Spider-Man. And, you know, he, he shows her a little toot here. He gives her a little attitude. And let me tell you, okay, I I'm sure this isn't going to go well. Okay, you think Venom was was bad news. <laughs> Wait till you have his mom pissed off at him. Dude, it was it was bad news. Then we get a second look or we get then we get a look at the spot at about 30 seconds in. And holy moly, dude, with the bread coming out, I'm like, yo, this is sick. And it, like this is really feeding into the whole Spider-Verse era and exactly... You know, in my mind, when I think of the Spider Verse, like this is this is more than I could have ever envisioned. It, and to be honest with you, this is exactly what Multiverse of Madness should have been. And so we get to about 35 seconds, and you could obviously see Miles is struggling in school again. You know, this film seems to be doubling down on the idea that he is not only he, he's struggling to balance both things, struggling to balance between a new villain, uh, struggling to balance between that. Uh, his roles and responsibilities as spider-man while simultaneously trying to keep up with his roles at home with his family and school and obviously this is going to come to a head in a big deal but i will say miss weber she didn't have to snitch though saying that he gotta be in spanish like come on y'all then we get to uh about 50 seconds in we start to see a lot of the spider-verse stuff going on so we see you know miles is chilling doing his thing this goes back to the first trailer when he was grounded and looks like yeah this is kind of connecting those two trailers he's grounded here he sees gwen she's like you want to get out of here obviously my boy is not going to say no to that because who would uh, then we see all the spider people dude so i gotta be honest like the designs the designs for all of these spider people is just phenomenal spider punk right like oh look at this look at this one then you get the room once again I'll never get tired of seeing this. All of the spider people, like it's it's absolute madness. Like you thought No Way Home was amazing, seeing Toby and Andrew come back. This film really, it feels like it's taking that to 11 with an entire Spider-Verse of all the different Spider-Man. It, re it really feels like a celebration of Spider-Man, you know? And I think that that's actually really amazing. And all the Spider-Man here, I'll leave it to the, the professionals to uh really analyze who all these spider people are i'm not going to sit here and pretend to you that i know all these people i have no idea but they all look dope and then of course we see the plot you know is kind of introduced here you know the choice that peter or you know that miles is going to have to make and then we see peter come in who i'm excited is returning not only is he returning he has a child which is interesting very interesting and yeah, like I said, this really gets to the plot of the film. I love this shot. I don't know what it is. It's uh, there's a number of games that I've played, a number of indie titles that I've really enjoyed that take this kind of stylistic approach. It almost makes me want to play a Spider-Man game that's that's 2D. I think that would be amazing. I know Spider-Man is very much a, a 3D universe, a 3D character. Uh, it's best played in a 3D game, but this is this is tough. That shot is there, and then obviously we see. Gwen mourning over the death of Peter, uh, which as I think really, I think this is really going to be where we see the depth of the story and the emotional quality, because we're going to be faced with the realization of that all of these Spider-Men across the mini Spider-Verses have suffered. Either they lost, you know, you know, either they lost Ben, you know, they lost Aunt May. Every single one has lost someone. And it really goes to show the darker side of Spider-Man. I think it's why I love the character so much because like it's not all, you know, cookies and milk for my boy. Like every Spider-Man has has suffered s tremendously. And it's kind of, you know, you can see it in the eyes. You could specifically see it in the eyes of Gwen Stacy here that every Spider-Man has just really, really, really been through it. Spider-Man, Spider-Girl, whoever you want to, whatever you want to call it. And then obviously it looks like uh, Miles is going to be faced with the same dark reality where he's going to have to be tasked with either protecting his dad, uh, which if you play the first Spider-Man or if you played Miles Morales, actually, no, it was the first Spider-Man. Yeah, if you play the first Spider-Man on PS4, 
you know miles ends up losing his father so it very seems like it very much seems like that's going to be a possibility in this film and you know all the spider people are like look you got a choice my boy you could either protect your dad or you could protect all the spider-man and uh i think that that goes to show that reveals why everybody's after him right it reveals what the big issue is what the big plot is and i love that they kind of leave it there you know, obviously, I could be I could be incorrect. There's a lot of other things that could be happening here, but he's definitely going to be faced with a choice in this movie. Uh, and all the Spider-Men are going to be after him because, like, boy, you're not going to you're not going to f this up for all of us. And look at like the fights. You you already know the fights are going to be sick. Like the emotional quality seems to be there. I love the line here where he's like, everybody's trying to tell me who I'm supposed to be or what I'm supposed to do. And he's like, nah, I'm going to do this my way. I'm going to do my own thing. Like, that is just so, oh, uh, y'all, it's so sick. I, I just, I love Miles. I love the representation that Miles brings to, to the comic book universe. And I'm still waiting on a live action Miles Morales film. I don't know what's taking so long, but that needs to happen. That needs to happen because for all, you know, for everybody that is a Miles Morales fan, you know, it's just for diversity in general dude like it's it's like he's such an iconic character I, I really enjoy i really enjoy this this character i can't wait to I, I might have to play the game again to be honest with you and so yeah you can see more of the spider-man but this shot y'all this shot is just perfection this is perfection like i i i need this i need this on a wall i need this on my wall i need this in a painting or something I, I would love to i would love to commission somebody to paint this image because it is just it's just absolutely insane the the iconic meme the iconic spider-man pointing meme that was once again revived in no way home what a time to be alive but now we get this here on another level like they gave us everybody's pointing y'all this is i'm saying this film is about to go crazy this film is about to go absolutely crazy and there you have it, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. And then, of course, it ends in just the most comedic fashion. You got the Spider-Man helmet uh, statue. I don't know what you call it in the back. You got a, a Spider-Man psychiatrist or psychologist. And then you got Peter mourning the death of Uncle Ben before everybody, all the other Spider-People burst through the wall, which is just absolutely insane. And then a freaking horse, a freaking horse comes through. I don't know if... if there's any professional spider-man people watching this who is the spider horse like i need to know because that i had no idea that was even a thing or maybe it's just a horse with the spider-man mask i mean that's pretty dope either way i don't know there you have it guys that is your breakdown this film this film i've already been excited about it i've been excited about it ever since it was first announced ever since we got the first trailer now here we are with the second trailer giving us just a little bit more depth a little bit more light and revealing what we could potentially expect in this film and it is nothing short of spectacular from all the spider people to the villain to the relatable story to just seeing more miles morales i think this film is absolutely going to pop off and i uh, i don't even know what to say i'm so excited but let me know in the comment section what are you guys excited about for this movie is there something else in the trailer that i missed is there something that stuck out to you let me know in the comment section i cannot wait to have a conversation with you about this movie because i am very very excited. As always, thank you so much for watching. My name is That Guy Rye, and I will see you in the next video.